Welcome to Christ Lutheran Church in the Inner Harbor of Baltimore as we gather virtually for worship on this Good Friday. We've prepared these mini worship experiences in advance for you to reflect on and embrace the presence of God through music and prayer. These are in addition to our Facebook Live gatherings, which will feature some community time, a reading of the gospel, and a sermon by one of the pastors. On Good Friday, we Christians remember Jesus' death, a death through which came the salvation of the world. This service follows the seven last words of Jesus, with readings from all four Gospels which help tell the story of Jesus' loving sacrifice for us all. Each reading is preceded by a prayerful reproach through which we confess our communal sin. The response to each of these reproaches, which you are encouraged to join, is Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. And as always, we're grateful for Dr. Daniel Alney's leadership from the organ bench and for our two vocalists, Rebecca and Sarah Berger. Let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Merciful God, your Son was lifted up on the cross to draw all people to himself. Grant that we, who have been born out of this wounded side, may at all times find mercy in him, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what have I done to you? How have I offended you? Answer me. I led you out of slavery into freedom, and delivered you through the waters of rebirth, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. Forty years I led you through the desert, feeding you with manna on the way. I saved you from the time of trial and gave you my body, the bread of heaven, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. A reading from the 23rd chapter of the Gospel of Luke. Two others also, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. Word of God. Word of life. Oh, my people, oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I led you on your way in a pillar of cloud and fire, but you led me to the judgment hall of Pilate. I guided you by the light of the Holy Spirit, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I planted you as my fairest vineyard, but you brought forth bitter fruit. I made you branches of the vine and never left your side, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. 
A reading from the 23rd chapter of the Gospel of Luke. One of the criminals who were hanged kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Word of God, word of life.
O my people, O my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I poured out saving water from the rock, but you gave me vinegar to drink. I poured out my life and gave you the new covenant in my blood, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh my people, O oh my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I gave you a royal scepter, but you gave me a crown of thorns. I gave you the kingdom and crowned you with eternal life, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. A reading from the 19th chapter of the Gospel of John. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Word of God, word of life. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I struck down your enemies, but you struck my head with a reed. I gave you my peace, but you draw the sword in my name. And you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Oh, my people, oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I opened the waters to lead you to the promised land, but you opened my side with a spear. I washed your feet as a sign of my love, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. A reading from the 27th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about then, about three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Word of God, word of life.
O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I lifted you up to the heights, but you lifted me high on a cross. I raised you from death and prepared for you the tree of life, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I grafted you into my people Israel, but you have made them scapegoats for your own guilt, and you've prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy, holy and mighty, holy, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. A reading from the 19th chapter of the Gospel of John. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said in order to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the vine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. Word of God, word of life. O oh, my people, O oh, my church, what more could I have done for you? Answer me. I came to you in the least of your brothers and sisters. I was hungry and you gave me no food, thirsty and you gave me no drink, a stranger and you did not welcome me, naked and you did not clothe me, sick and in prison and you did not visit me, and you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. A reading from the 19th chapter of the Gospel of John. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Word of God, word of life.
A reading from the 23rd chapter of the Gospel of Luke. It was now about noon, and the darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Word of God, word of life.
they all 